With three cooking shows currently on television, our next guest career is on fire. <laughs> Joining us with the latest dish about the third season of his series, Man Fire Food, is celebrity <laughs> chef Roger Mookin. So I, can't, I, I love that. Man right. Fire Food. I like how you guys work that in dish. Like yeah, this. yeah, yeah. Just work it out for you. <laughs> cook up a little something for you. Oh! oh. Food, like and that, speaking yeah. of cooking, on this show, Man Fire Food, you're always on this quest to find out outrageous ways to cook with fire. We're on a quest for uh, fire. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. where did you get this idea for this show? Basically, you know, the executive producer came up with the idea, but it's just so, like, takes us right back to Neanderthal days. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's primal. It is what it is. It's a man. It's me or another person that we're dealing with on the show. We're cooking over a fire, making food. So it's everything from clam bakes to barbecues, grilling, lobster boils, cooking in a mud hut, all kinds of different things. Mm, you're making me hungry already. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just thinking about some of the stuff. I'm getting hungry again right. all over. And you're in the third season of the show. So how has it evolved over the years? Well, you know, we start to understand what the show is about more and what really works, what characters really work better than others. And so we just kind of start to dive into the depth of those things in a more intense way. So you know? what works? What have you found has worked? Well, we know that people love to see an interesting spectacle, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. right? So, you know, it's part of that we're in a reality TV generation, yeah. but we're not doing a reality show, right? Mm -hmm. So we're trying to bring some of the, the elements of the excitement of a spectacle. So, you know, we we'll, might cook a whole cow. And just the scale of it and its chains and pulleys and 2,000 pounds of steel. Oh. And like this week we're doing a mud oven and you got to crack it open with a sledgehammer. And, you know, so there's part of a spectacle to it. Yeah. And it's the people. You know, I'm a people person. So yeah. when it comes down to it, it's like I need to engage with these people. I'm not an actor. I just like people. And if we get along, we're going to have a great time. Oh, I like that. Definitely. You do get some great characters on this yeah, show. Yeah, this is crazy. You're interacting you know, with. one thing with barbecue people and people cooking over fire, they're all just a, a little bit, you know, like. What? Yeah, wait. A little what? A little, 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 little hot in the hand. Are you a little little too? Depends who you talk to. Okay. Yeah. If you've seen the show, you already know. <laughs> Let's talk about Heat Seekers. Now, that's all about you searching for the world's spiciest dishes? Yeah, me and my boy, Aron Sanchez, we travel around America and we eat hot and spicy food and it's crazy. What's the hottest meal you've ever had? Uh, we were in Florida, and this guy basically like flame roasts chilies. Flame roasts yes. chilies. Yo, but check it out. So imagine, you ever eat Vietnamese pho? Soup? Yeah, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. So imagine, you know those big bowls of soup uh -huh. they are like that? Imagine the half of that is ground up chilies that he fire roasted. No. And then he just puts stock just to kind of top it off. So you're basically drinking liquid fire. That just hurts my stomach thinking about it. Why do you torture yeah, it yourself? It hurt my stomach. It hurt my stomach. I guess yeah. so. Why yeah. do you torture how, yourself yeah. like this? And how long did it take you to recover from that meal? That was two days of recovery. Yeah. I only took two tablespoons because it was just like, it was too much. Too much. Wait, what do you do to recover? Well, we go in, we drink some chalky fluid to start, mm -hmm. right? Okay. To and coat then the stomach, to right? To coat, we got to line it, but, like, we drink a good liter of it. And then at the end, it's, like, Greek yogurt and honey to finish it up. Oh. But why do we do it? It's like, you know, it's like machismo. It's me and my boy. We're battling to see who's going to take each other out, you know? No Who wins way. more? I win more. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen you run away from the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those was, things. Crazy. Why do you think spicy foods are so popular? And they're increasing in popularity. It seems like, especially in the West, we're embracing the idea of hot spices like turmeric and all of these things. Why is that? Yeah, you know, I think with spicy food, it's one of those things that's immediately reactive. Mm. In, in terms of an eating experience, yeah, you get the flavor. Yeah, you get the, the sensory coming from your nose and sizzling, you know, sounds and stuff like that. But with fire, it's immediate. It yeah. hits your mouth and mm -hmm. it makes your body react. You sweat. And I think there's just something intrinsic about body reacting to envi our environment. Did you, you know? play with matches as a child? <laughs> I did, you know. We used to play this game. <laughs> Check this out. It's funny you mentioned that. Because there's the fire theme yeah. that I'm hearing. so excited when we he says to, it. <laughs> we used to play this game called Matches. Really? Yeah, you play check matches? it out. That's you go name. out in the field. Okay. I grew up in Alberta, which is north of Montana. Okay. So we go out in the field just after the winter time when the grass is mad dry. Uh -huh. And we light matches in a circle and we drop it down and then it starts to catch and then you start stomping it out. Yeah, that doesn't sound One safe. day we were doing that and a big wind came, bro. <gasps> <laughs> what did you do? Did the whole field go up in flames? Oh, I can't talk about that, but nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. 
the fire department did show up. <laughs> so, wow. you know, I think that's how I got the shows because I was telling one of the executives about that story one day, and about a month later, he's like, hey, Raj, you want to do this show about fire? <laughs> You were like, yeah, 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 fire, fire, fire. I was like, fire, fire, fire. I can get away with it this time. Oh, right. Got a little pyromaniac yes. on set. Okay. You guys watch him on the way out. Yeah. Make sure he doesn't he, start any fires. Keep the gasoline away from this one. All right. Uh, we also have to talk about your other show because you have so many. Everyday Exotic. I love the exotic things you're cooking up. But yeah. what makes this show different from the others? Well, you know, it's about comfort food. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people in America, North America, they make the same six dishes. Yeah, that's you true. You know, and that's their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So I want to introduce people to their comfort zone and spread it slightly. So we'll start with, let's say, meatloaf, mm -hmm. and then we'll add one ingredient, coriander to that. Uh, but coriander, we'll use the seed, we'll use the plant itself, so you get the cilantro from it, and we'll make a chutney out of the cilantro, we'll use the coriander seeds, put it in the meatloaf, mm -hmm. so you get your everyday meatloaf, but it's hooked up a little bit. Yeah, and before long, wow. yeah, you know, before long you get a little sense of you get coriander in your pantry then you might get some five spice in your pantry before long you have a little bit of a thing in your pantry mm -hmm. and you can start to experiment because it's no longer intimidating right okay yeah. so just for the record you're not allowed to come back again unless you bring food because you keep <laughs> mentioning all these meals and you just throw this in there and it's, or a oh, fire so extinguisher I know, right? yeah. 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 that and a fire extinguisher you're good yeah. so when did you first begin cooking i mean when you weren't burning down <laughs> burning down fields i didn't burn down the field you just didn't burn like, down okay, the field it was your friend kidding yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, when did you first begin cooking? Uh, ever since I can remember myself, I would stand up on the counter, learn how to make wontons with my parents. Mm -hmm. Like, I was always kneading dough. I just was curious in the kitchen, you know? So when did you realize you wanted to make it your career? Three. I was three. No. Really? Yeah, you know, you ask little kids, what do you want to be when you grow up? My aunt asked me that, and I didn't blink. I said, I'm going to be a chef. And she laughed. She's like, what do you know about being, you know, hard work that is? I'm like, I'm going to be a chef. Watch. So now they laugh, I laugh at them. And here you, know? you are, juggling three wow. shows on television, but you also are in the studio as well. You're a, a huge musician. Yeah, I do music. Really? I've done music my whole life since I was like 15. I won a lot of awards for music and performed like James Brown and the Fugees. And, you know, done lots, lots of music. Don't um, be modest. Right. No, no, no. I've done a lot in music. Uh -huh. You know, like uh -huh. it's, it's, that's a true thing. And I still do music. I just put out an album called Feedback Acoustic. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, the real test of an artist is you put them down with a guitar mm. or like have them sit with a piano player and perform the song. Wow. It's like, will that song stand up? So do you like to right. rap or you sing while you're cooking? Or? I rap, <laughs> sing, and yeah, but you know, it's just, it's one life. I have one life. For a long mm -hmm. time, I felt like I was two crazy people, and then I realized it's just entertainment. Yeah. Everything I do is entertainment. So you come you to my house, I feed you. Integrate it all together. It's entertainment. What will you be entertaining us with next? Oh, Another what's show, next? more albums. Well, Manfire <laughs> Food is coming to, uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 8 p.m. Tuesday, Cooking Channel. It's an amazing episode in New Mexico. A lot of fun stuff we did. So you're going to see a lot of that. The thing just came out. I just came out with a line of T-shirts that are really fun. And really? I got an airport restaurant opening up in Toronto in December. That's fantastic. Okay. Congratulations. So there's a lot of platforms for entertainment, you know? Just you blowing go. up, aren't you? I like to No, no, don't, I, don't I like blow to up here. <laughs> <laughs> He might take that literally, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Continued success to you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. We'll be right back.